creating and configuring an RSLogic 500 Pro project. To demonstrate the usage of RSLogic 500 Pro, a slick PLC with a 1747L531 Series E processor is used. To create a new project, start RSLogic 500 Pro from the Windows Start menu. After that, click the File menu and select New. In the Select Processor Type window, select the PLC processor that this project is being created for. In this case, the 1747L531 Series E processor is selected from the list because the Slick 500 PLC used in this demonstration has a 1747L531 Series E processor. After that, enter the desired processor name and processor known. The processor name and the processor node text box are set to demo 1 and 1 respectively. After that, the RSLink driver slick 500 underscore df1 is selected from the driver drop-down list. Recall that this driver was created in the RSLink program in the previous lesson. Next, click the OK button and save the project. Note that the processor type the processor name, the processor node, and the project's driver can be changed by going into the controller property file. To configure the RS-232 communication port of the 1747, L531 processor, double click the channel configuration file. The channel configuration file has channel 0 and a channel 1 system tab because the 1747 L31 processor has two communication ports. Because we are using the channel 0 communication port Click on the Channel 0 System tab. No changes are required, so click the Cancel button to close the Channel Configuration window. The next step is to identify and configure the various modules that are in the Sleep 500 7 slot chassis. To identify and configure the modules in the chassis, open the I.O. configuration file. The RAC's drop-down list is set to 1746A7 because the SIG 500 PLC used in this demo has a 7-slot chassis. Next, click on the Read I.O. Configuration button to automatically identify the modules that are in the 7-slot chassis. In the Read I.O. Configuration window, the driver slick 500 underscore df1 is selected from the driver drop-down list. The Slick 500 underscore DF1 driver is currently connected to the Slick 500 PLC. Finally, click the Read I.O. Config button.
the list box on the left in the I.O. configuration folder is now populated with catalog numbers of the modules that are in the chassis. Note that only certain PLC processors have the ability to detect the modules that are in the chassis. If a PLC processor cannot auto-detect the modules, then manually identify the modules by dragging them from the current cards available list box to the module list box on the left. For example, if a 1747 OX8 output module is in the chassis slot number 6, then drag the 1747 OX8 part number from the current cards available list box to the row 6 of the module list box. Note that when manually identifying the modules that are in the PLC chassis, an active communication link between the PC and the PLC is not necessary. However, an active communication link between a PC and a PLC is required to automatically identify the modules. After creating and configuring the project, the next step is to create a ladder logic program.